you learn about the microfiltration and ultrafiltration such as pore size range, required pressure, substances that can be removed, and also some applications so far. Let's have an exercise. Describe the removal efficiency of the constituents using microfiltration and ultrafiltration according to the presented data in the following table. This is a tertiary effluent water quality data. At first, I have to say that the treatment processes in wastewater treatment are divided into four levels. Preliminary, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Actually, it has to be noticed that in wastewater treatment plant, membrane filtration has to be used after tertiary treatment level due to the low constituents concentration in this level for prevention of the membrane problems such as fouling and scaling. We will discuss about these problems in the next section. In this table, tertiary effluent water quality and rejection characteristics of microfiltration and ultrafiltration membranes have shown.